Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, and today we are starting our video series on About Face, which is geared to help military members point you in the right direction, help you avoid common pitfalls, and hopefully give you a couple tips and tricks on the most effective measures that will help you in your job search. And as I've stated before, this isn't meant to replace TAPS. This is more, um, these videos are more to augment it. It's, um, some of them may be advanced and some of them may be just a refresher. So, um, and the first video that I want to start off with is networking. And we're going to go into very detailistic views at networking and common pitfalls that people make and then some ways to mitigate those, uh, problems but the first thing I would like to do is dispel some rumors or some misconceptions because um, unfortunately networking is a very overused term and there's a lot a lot that I feel is misunderstood especially from people coming from the military sector so in order to help us understand exactly what networking is, I've put Spider-Man on my screen. And that's going to be your uh, neural cue um, to remind you whenever you're thinking of networking, like what are some of the common things to keep in mind? Because see, Spider-Man, he doesn't just use his web slinging abilities um, for offense or for defense. He uses them for both. It's not just one or the other. And the thing is, is that um, he also, he, although he may not always be in his Spider-Man outfit fighting crime, he um, is, he always carries around his, his webs at a moment's notice because he never knows when, when in, an incident is going to happen. He never knows when an opportunity is going to strike. And so um, all of these things about Spider-Man are going to be very analog, uh, analog, analogous uh, to, to our approach for networking. So the first thing is um, keep in mind that networking sounds like some sort of computer term, um, and it is, but don't confuse it. It's not about numbers. It's about people. Spider-Man cares about people, right? He's always trying to help other people out. And he doesn't ask for anything in return, but a lot of times the people help him out in return. And so that's how we have to approach networking. It's not about what can other people do for me. It's about what can I do for them to help them. The other thing, as I stated before, is, is it's not about numbers, okay? It doesn't matter how big your network is. If it's not strong, if 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 I can just throw a rock and it goes right through, then that network is not strong. If, however, I throw a rock and it catches it and bounces it back, that's a strong network. It doesn't have to be a big one, right? And so we're going to also discuss in some later videos the difference between quality and quantity because there is a balance. There are benefits to having a large number of people in your network. But you have to con consider it like the spider web, right? You have to consider that your inner circle, that's your tight-knit, very close group that you, that you really rely upon. And then the outer rings of your network, those is, that's, that's the support system, but they're not necessarily where your focus is. So um, anyways, uh, we will be touching on several different topics. I hope that this video has been informative, and if you'd like to hear more, then please check out the other videos. Okay, until next time, take it easy.